Good morning, boys and girls. It's Miss Amy with your children's lesson for this week. Today, I want to talk to you about somebody from my childhood named Mr. Rogers, Mr. Fred Rogers. He had a television show that was just for kids, although a lot of adults watched it too. Um, it was called Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. And every day he would come through the front door of his house. He would take off his jacket and put a sweater on. He would take off his shoes and put some comfy sneakers on. And then he, the whole time he was doing that, he would be singing a song about, won't you be my neighbor? And then he went and had his show and he had a lot of friends. He had a lot of neighbors. He cared for everyone. He listened to everyone and everybody loved him. Now, a few years ago, Mr. Rogers died, and he had neighbors all over the world who have truly missed him. And if you ever get a chance to watch reruns of Mr. Rogers, you probably should. Your parents probably remember him. Maybe your grandparents remember him better than your parents. But Mr. Rogers knew what was going on with neighbors. He knew that just because somebody didn't live next door to you didn't mean they weren't your neighbor. Now, the Bible talks to us about neighbors. In Luke, there's a story that Jesus tells someone who says, Who is my neighbor? And Jesus tells him a story about a man who was taking a journey. He was walking down the road between two towns, and some robbers came along. And they took his clothes, they took his money, they beat him very badly and left him in the ditch. Later on, someone came along, they saw him, and they didn't help him. They walked to the other side of the road to go around. A little while later, another man did the same thing. He came along, he saw the man, he went to the other side of the road, went on past. But finally, someone who we've all come to know as the Good Samaritan did stop and help him. Now, being a Good Samaritan meant that he was from the country of Samaria, and they were people who didn't get along so well with the people in this area. They didn't like each other. But he didn't let that stop him. He helped the man in the ditch because he considered him a neighbor. It was the right thing to do. Now, Jesus went on and said that that Samaritan was the neighbor. He wasn't like the people in the story. He didn't know the people in the story. But he did the right thing. Now Jesus tells us something else in Matthew. In Matthew 22, verses 37 through 39, Jesus said, Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment. And the second is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. We have neighbors everywhere. Some are just like us. They're people we know. They may be the people who live in the house next door to us. Then we have neighbors that we don't know. Someone who's broken down on the side of the road. Their car's got a flat tire. Or someone who's struggling in the, in the grocery store to pick up a heavy package or reach something that they can't reach that we might be able to. There might be somebody who's had a job loss or lost a family member. And they just need somebody to let them know that they're there and that they can talk to them and that they'll help them any way they can. That's where we come in. Jesus said, love your neighbor as you love yourself. So in this day and age, we have neighbors all over the world. We don't know a lot of them. We do know a lot of them. Some of them are like us. Some of them are not like us. But we still have to love them and show them the same kind of love that Jesus shows us. So today I want us to bow our heads and I want us to say a prayer for all our neighbors out there, okay? Our most kind and gracious Heavenly Father, we just praise you for, for loving us, for giving us the opportunities to, to go out and, and talk to other people about you and to show your love to them. Lord, he, help each one of us to to love our neighbors, those who who look like us, those who act like us, those who don't look or act like us, those who may not believe like we believe. Lord, let us all remember that every one of us is a neighbor to everyone else. And let us show that love. I ask this in your precious and holy name. Amen. 
Well, that does it for this week. And hopefully we'll be seeing you in the church building in just the next week or so. So take care. Be good. And I love you guys.